my channel. My name is Paris and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe. I wanted to do a little fall haul today, show you guys some decorations that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. So I hope you like this video. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've been here and there's a couple reasons why. So Ollie decided to make a tasty little snack out of my camera tripod that I was using to film. So I had to find an alternative and um, so that's part of the reason. The other part of the reason is simply because I had to take a couple of weeks and a couple of paychecks to purchase some of these items and I mean nothing's outrageously expensive but I can't just blow all my money on fall decorations as much as I would love to. So. It's taken me a couple of weeks to gather these items and to be a hundred percent honest and transparent I would have purchased all of these items regardless of YouTube or making a video or anything like that so um, yeah a lot of these items are from the dollar store and um, some of them are from home goods uh, I don't think I bought anything at Marshall's although I did look so <laughs> Um, yeah, so they had a lot of the same stuff, so I don't think I bought anything at Marshall's, but uh, you could probably find some of these items at Marshall's if you don't have a home goods near you, and if you're interested in getting them. Like I said, a lot of these items are from the dollar store. I'm a big fan of dollar store decorations, to be quite honest. Um, a, they're cheap, B, they're pretty cute, and you can't go wrong with the dollar here and there. So, life hack, if you're unaware is that the dollar store actually has some pretty good cleaning products so and they have like name brand cleaning products for a dollar so yeah um, just a fun little hack if you guys are in need of cleaning supplies uh, during this unprecedented time um, so yeah I hope you guys like this little video it's just something that I've been thinking about I personally like watching videos like this like videos that go over like home decorations and um, like seasonal decor um, because those are things that interest me in my real life so I just thought that I would show you guys just some cute items that I got um, I'm looking at them now and I'm realizing that I'm kind of a pumpkin whore <laughs> the pumpkin queen if if you must that's what you can call me so um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys some of the items that I got. I am by no means done, and I also have a million and a half other decorations that I did not purchase for this. Well, I didn't purchase them for this video specifically, but because I did have a lot of items, I thought that I would just show you guys. Um, so, let's get into it. So as you guys may have guessed, fall is my favorite season. Um, I live in Colorado, like I've mentioned before, so we have a lot of different seasons and fall is one of them. Um, unfortunately, fall is the shortest season, which is really sad because it lasts like, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks and then it's just gone. It's snow and then it snows for months on end. Thanks to global warming though, it hasn't been snowing quite as long throughout the year. Um, I know that there's been like, 4th of July where it snowed so <laughs> um, Colorado is kind of crazy um, but yeah fall is my favorite season uh, just like the fashion the decor um, the weather in general um, so yeah I'm all about the big oversized comfy sweaters the leggings I mean let's be real I do wear leggings 24-7 maybe not 24-7 because I wear scrubs most of the time but when I'm not in scrubs, I'm in leggings and probably an oversized like hoodie, oversized sweater. I love a good oversized knit cardigan with some pockets. So those are totally my vibes. Um, I really like boots in the fall and crunchy leaves. I like the perfect day to me, I tell everybody. I'm extremely heat intolerant and extremely cold intolerant so I hate the summer I hate the winter I hate the snow well, I don't hate the snow if it's not cold I don't hate the snow which sounds weird but it's a thing if it's if it's nice outside and it's snowy whatever but if it's cold no um, but yeah so I'm extremely intolerant of both heat and cold so the perfect day to me would be like 65 degrees with um, a slight breeze partially cloudy maybe some Sun but like a crisp fall 
yeah, I just love that. Um, otherwise, if it's not 65 part, partly cloudy and a slight breeze, um, then I want it to be like 70 degrees or maybe like 68 degrees cloudy, like gloomy, like on the border of snow, but it's not snow. It's like misting or raining um, and a slight breeze. So <laughs> I, I like it to be chilly. I like it to be crispy. I like there to be some condensation in the air. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. I'm weird. The last few days it has started to feel like fall, so I felt really inspired. I was like, okay, I need to stop making excuses. I need to get a video out. I need to entertain myself. I need to entertain the people. Although, I don't know, I think I'm just entertaining myself at this point. But yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys um, the dollar store stuff first because that's what I got first and that's what's right in front of me. So. Um, like I said, I am the pumpkin queen, apparently, so, um, first I got these cute little, um, they're like styrofoam, but they have this, um, I don't know, like mesh, I don't know what you would call that, it's like an old potato sack. <laughs> I only got a hold of these a couple of weeks ago, I came home and they were like on the ground and I was like, no, Ollie, no. Um, this one's actually not too bad. The other one kind of got mangled, but it's doable. It kind of looks rustic, kind of cute. I got two of these ones. See, a little hole there, but I can always flip it this way. Well, I guess there's holes there too. Oh, perfect. Um, but yeah, I stuffed it back in here, but he uh, he got a hold of the bottom of this one. But he kind of gave up, so it must not have ta tasted so good. Um, so yeah, I got two of these ones. I did get a third one. I got this little orange one. He got to this one too, but uh, I don't know. He didn't mangle it too bad, so if I just put it on like the mantle or something, put it up here, um, I think it would look pretty cute. So I kind of like buy things in odd numbers, so I got these three because I thought that they would kind of be cute, like a little pumpkin patch moment. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a brother and a, and a sister, so I kind of like buying things in three because to me, three signifies like me, my brother and sister, which is kind of what I grew up with my whole life. So um, yeah, weird, weird moment that I'm connecting that to them. But yeah, so anyways, let's move on. Um, the next thing I got at the dollar store was this really cute little picket sign. Like I said, Ollie got into this box, so he actually tore on that. But it says 25 cents a pound, and it says farm fresh pumpkins. And I just thought this was really cute. Um, it has this little hangy guy. It is like a little picket sign thingy. I don't have a yard. Obviously, I live in an apartment, but I thought that this would be cute. Um, I, I do have some real estate beyond the camera, like... In the kitchen area that I thought that this would be cute in so I just I really loved this and again pumpkin apparently that's this year's theme I love pumpkins so yeah thought that was really cute the next thing that I found was this grateful and blessed little sign it's shaped like a little mason jar I thought it was cute it has these like sunflower and like a little wheelbarrow and um, pumpkin details. I just thought that this was a really cute sign. Again, I picture this probably in my kitchen area. Um, I have a couple of walls that this is like the perfect size to go in. <clears throat> I have these like really weird cutouts in my like hallway. So the walls are weird in there, but things like this fit in there, which is awesome. And at the dollar store, they always have signs like this. And they're always cute. If you get there, like, right when they put their decorations out, you can find ones that still have glitter on them, aren't, like, all messed up. So, yeah, this one's really cute. Moving on to the next thing that I found at the dollar store, the dollar store whore, I would like to call myself now, um, is this cute little sign. It says autumn, apple cider, hay rides, pumpkins, and falling leaves. I just thought that this was cute. Again, it has like some sunflowers. It's shaped like a pumpkin. It has like a cute little glitter moment. Um, yeah, and it has like this woodsy uh, print on it. So I thought that this was really cute. 
again for the kitchen area. So, yep, love that. I apologize if the camera was moving in that last, um, in those last couple of minutes. I didn't realize it was moving until I looked up and started paying attention. So, um, anyways, the last two items of the dollar store finds that I found were these cute little metal pumpkins. Um, so these are both metal. This one is kind of like a gold, but it's like brushed with paint. Um, so it has like some distressing. It has this cute little leaf and vine moment. I love that. I love that he's like a fat little pumpkin. I don't know. I love the little round guys. Um, but I also love the weird, tall, misshapen guys too. So although I don't have any in this little haul that are weird or misshapen or tall besides this little guy and he's not even tall again this one's metal has a cute little detailing with the leaf and the vine um cute little white pumpkin so i don't know in my opinion these are really cute finds from the dollar store i love this little guy um i have a shelf to the side of me here that i think would be great for a lot of these decorations including all the other decorations that I have because apparently I just can't get enough of fall okay anyway so the next items these ones are from home goods TJ Maxx owns home goods Marshalls TJ Maxx and I think they're like huge headquarters and is in Japan or something I don't really know all I know is that I love all three of those stores I can always find cheap affordable um, decoration and I don't have to like break my bank for it which is awesome because uh okay. yeah so again I'm really sorry if like the lighting keeps changing in here or if the camera keeps moving um it you can probably tell the lighting has changed in here because I started filming at like 6 30 and it is like 7:30, and the sun is starting to go down another great thing about fall um, here at least is that um, it starts getting darker earlier and a lot of people hate that but I'm again weird I like to go against the crowd I like that it gets darker earlier um, it's just me I don't know anyways so I'm gonna show you the items that I got at home goods um, I don't think I picked up anything from Marshall's if I did I'll let you know so you could probably find a lot of these next items in all three of those stores or very similar items. Um, my favorite thing about uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods is that you can find really inexpensive decor, but it looks beautiful and it's really well made. So I will tell you the price of all of these. All of those items previously were a dollar. They came from the dollar store. I probably spent 20 bucks there because I bought other things. <laughs> um, but yes, so these items are all from Home Goods, possibly Marshalls, but I'll let you know. So I'm going to start with the cheapest item that I bought and go up to the most expensive. Um, like I said, items from these stores are inexpensive and quality items, so nothing here is gonna break the bank, which is great because I ball on a budget a lot of the time. So for the most inexpensive item, it is this. $6.99. It is this really pretty gold pumpkin. It has a gold, uh, I don't, I don't know what this is. Ceramic maybe? No, it's not ceramic. I don't know what this is. It's not breakable. Well, you could probably slam it on the floor and break it, but, um, this is just like painted on. These detailing is like engraved into the pumpkin, which is really cool. This is, it has like a little gold stem. I like how it has like the little um, swirly in here. And I just love this print. Again, this was $6.99. And to me, you could probably find this for a much steeper price at like West Elm or I don't know, something like that, Anthropology, for a much heftier price. And Home Goods had it for $6.99, and it's a pretty good size. So I like this little guy, he's cute. The next item, <laughs> like I said, pumpkin whore. So all of these items, by the way, are all pumpkins. Um, and that's because I walked into Home Goods and I saw their fall um, section and literally 
all of the pumpkins sang to me and nothing else did so <laughs> um which is crazy because I also love Halloween Halloween is my favorite 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 holiday and I didn't buy one single like traditional Halloween decoration so which is crazy for me because last year I probably would have um so we have this guy he's the next most inexpensive item um he's kind of like the same material he was $7.99 um, he it has like texture on him as well. I really like him. He's a white little guy and uh, Yeah, not much to say about him again You could probably find something much more expensive at you know one of those other stores that I had mentioned like Anthropology West Elm um, I don't know Potter, Pottery Barn something like that probably much more expensive for something that was literally eight bucks at home goods so that guy's cute. I love him. Um, I had to like hide this one because Ollie, I just know Ollie would get a hold of it and try to eat him. He is this really fun, sparkly, sequiny gold pumpkin. I love this one. It's plush. Um, it has like little, um, like a rice sack down here to like make it heavy, but I love him. He has like a wooden handle This guy Was nine bucks nine ninety nine ten dollars. So I thought he was cute. He's one of the bigger ones that I got so I Thought that this was a pretty good deal. He's well made um, the sequins are not falling off. They're all even They're all fun to play with so yeah, I like this guy. He's a pretty cute one. So um, we'll keep this one up because I know that Ollie will try to eat it, so we'll just set that there. Sorry, I had to change the camera angle because it looked like it was, like, leaning. I'm so sorry if I'm leaning one way or the other. This, um, tripod thing that I have is not very efficient, so thank you, Ollie, for eating the one that was level. Anyways, so the next one that I have, this one kind of shocked me when I saw it in the store. I was like... There's no way. This next one is $12.99 and this, this quite literally would probably be like 90 bucks somewhere, like some designer store, um, because it is glass. So just so you guys know, I'm not lying. This guy, $12.99, I know it ripped, but I swear, I swear, this one was $12.99. And this one is by far my favorite. It's kind of dirty. And I don't know why, because it was clean when I bought it, but it's glass. I'm sure you can hear that. It has this really cool um, beading in it. Um, so it has this really pretty detailing beading. Um, and yeah, I thought that this was absolutely beautiful. I love the stem on this. I love the detailing on the stem. I love that it's a curly Q stem. Those are my favorite stems on pumpkins, are these little curly cues, and I just, I love this pumpkin. I like how it's misshapen, I like how it's kind of like lopsided. I think it's beautiful, and it was $13, which is insane, because like I said, you could probably find this somewhere for like upwards of $90 to $100. So, so I just, I thought that this was a really good deal, especially for that price, and just, again, the quality of the product by the way, this video is not sponsored, so I know I'm hyping up home goods, but I swear, I swear, I swear on, like, my mother's grave. She's well and alive, but I swear they have, like, the best decorations. So you should check them out if you're into home decor, fall, seasonal items. You should go if you haven't. So the next item, so I had been in the aisle picking up the glass pumpkin and I am like the clumsiest person in the world this is not a story that's gonna end in tragedy it actually ends in love um, so I found that gorgeous um, glass pumpkin and I was like well this is this is uh, it that that was like the jackpot of the um, of the pumpkin patch and um, and it was, it still is. It's probably my favorite one that I got, but this next one I looked up after putting the glass one in my cart, I looked up and I saw a beautiful, beautiful purple pumpkin. So I saw this pumpkin and I love her. I just love, it's kind of like a deflated pumpkin. And for those of you who don't know, purple is my favorite color. This one is a little um, pinky, it has a lot of like pink undertones, but 
Um, I, I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. My nails are purple right now. Um, also, excuse how grown out my, no my nails are. I bought pumpkins instead of getting my nails done, so. <laughs> anyway, so I saw this little guy after I put the glass pumpkin in my cart, and I was like, oh my god, that is a purple pumpkin. I have to have her. I just simply had to have her. So I love it. I love how like misshapen and deformed it is. It's kind of like a rotting pumpkin is what I would like call this shape. I love it. I wish that the top was like curly. It would just like, it would just take the cake for me. So I love this pumpkin. I love the color of it. It doesn't have a lot of detail, but all of these are like out. Oh yeah. This one was... $16.99, so a little more expensive. I would argue that the glass one was probably more worth $16 over this one, but I do love this one. Sorry, my camera almost fell, so if the angle changed, that's why. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love purple, so. And surprisingly, this is not the only purple pumpkin that I have. My grandma actually bought me a glass purple pumpkin because she knows that I love fall, I love pumpkins, I love purple. So, yeah, I'm just basic, I guess. Okay, and then last but not least, this is the last item that I got on my little excursion. This is the pumpkin that started it all. I walked into Home Goods and I was like, I have to go pumpkin shopping. I have to go pumpkin picking, if you will. This is the first pumpkin out of the patch that I found and I just fell in love. So, this one was really cool. It is this pumpkin here. It is the largest pumpkin that I found. It was $24.99. Really not that bad um, considering the quality of this pumpkin. It's weighty. Um, it's really big. It's bigger than my head and I kind of got a big head. So yeah, I love this pumpkin. It has this great detailing. I love like this detailing. I love like the dragon scales. It's just very like textile. I love it. I love all the textures out of it. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what happened. I wasn't going for a theme. I didn't have um, a color theme in mind, but apparently when I saw all these pumpkins, I was like, I gotta have gold, I gotta have white, I gotta have purple. So yeah, um, and I gotta have pumpkins. Apparently pumpkin was my theme this year. So um, like I said, I love fall. Um, that's why I wanted to do this video. And I appreciate you guys if you guys watched this video. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of the support that you guys have given me over the past few weeks. Um, I've put out a few videos now and they've all gotten a lot of love and support from you guys. So again, I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys. Um, and also this video was most definitely not sponsored. It was sponsored by my wallet and that was about it. So um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys liking this video, subscribing to my channel, sharing if you found it interesting. And I'd appreciate it if you let me know what your favorite holiday is, what your favorite season is, and if you like decor shopping and decorating. Um, I think for the next video I might do a wreath. Um, I know that my friend Olivia wants to see me make a wreath. I had mentioned briefly that I love making wreaths. I'm very um, creative and I've made a few wreaths of my own. So. If you guys are interested in that, let me know, and I will try to figure out how to film that. Um, I'm filming on my phone, so <laughs> um, it might be hard for me to film that. It might just be a lot of me talking and actually, well, I'm talking regardless, but it might be a lot of me showing what I'm doing as far as making a wreath and um, doing a voiceover or, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out, but um, I wanted to show you guys a wreath that I've actually made. I made this wreath last year. So I made this wreath last year. Um, it's It has like black flowers, a lot of orange, purple, and green. Um, this So this is what I made last year. has a little spider detailing in there, and I actually got all of the supplies for this wreath at the dollar store. It probably cost me like... I don't know, maybe $20 to make, maybe if that, um, because again, everything's a dollar, so um, yeah, I love making wreaths, so if you're interested in seeing a wreath, 
let me know and I would be more than happy to figure out how to film that process. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your love and support. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Sorry my camera kept tipping the entire time of this video. I will have to find out, um, I will have to figure out a new filming situation, but again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Bye!